In the calendar of a Jesuit institution amidst sports victories and scholarly achievements, we now find ourselves dedicating this day to the celebration of our Blessed Mother on this Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, where we celebrate the dogma of the Church that Mary was conceived without original sin. It may seem odd to give so much attention to Mary at a Jesuit school, a Jesuit school emphasizing Mary and not Jesus. Yet, in the footsteps of great men, we discern a profound truth. Honoring women in our lives is an integral aspect of nobility. The fifth commandment calls us to honor our parents. Jesus, in his perfection, exemplifies this by honoring Mary. Our love is owed to her. Think of our own mothers. There are so many virtues in our earthly mothers, tenderness, sacrifice, wisdom, now consider Mary, sinless and unparalleled role model. Jesus, in his perfection, obeyed Mary, revealing a profound admiration. What lessons can we draw from Mary? How does the Immaculate Conception direct us to her Son? On this holy day of obligation, let us, like Jesus, embody love and trust in Mary. Pray to her learn from her humility, aspire to be noble men, loving and honoring our Blessed Mother. Recall that Saint Ignatius of Loyola did so himself at the shrine of Our Lady of Montserrat, made a general confession and knelt all night in vigil before Our Lady's altar. Following the rites of chivalry, he left his sword and knife at the altar and began his new life's mission to follow Christ. O oh, Immaculate Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We, your gallant children here below, fly to your protection, O oh, Holy Mother of God, and ask that you continue to pray for us and protect us as we soldier onward in our school's mission and in our daily lives. O oh, Immaculate Mary, pray for us now and forever. Amen.